So what would you say was your favorite part of this project? The choreography for the fight scene. No. For sure. How long did it take you guys to like get all that down? Collectively what? Like eight hours? No. No, we did. It was like four hours with five, Elliot. Yeah, I was gonna say four or five hours. You were there for a couple hours longer than I was. I was there, day. I did a couple with Elliot after Just that as in well. Yard, and then you and I practiced a few times here. Yeah, a couple and times. And then <laughs> it was hard. All the time collect I mean basically every time we got together to shoot, if we weren't on camera doing something, we'd <laughs> slow mo <laughs> trying yeah. to get the angles or like so like distance distance ten was the hours part. would you agree distance probably was the hardest part as far as like yeah. swinging the knife and making it actually look like it might have gotten close not to smiling was another hard part of the fight scene <laughs> right yeah especially when um and also trying to pretend probably that you're not ready for what they're about to do you right. Know. If you telegraph <laughs> that you know what's coming too much, yeah. Right. No, the yeah. I think the most fun, the most fun had to have been the fight choreography. Uh, although probably after about the twentieth time that you got judo slammed, you were pretty, <laughs> pretty tired of it. I think the worst part was just the grass. Oh my gosh, like grass got grass everywhere. In the field. I mean, a great <laughs> shot though when you're getting up and you do like that exhale and like that puff of dust. I didn't even know. Was... I, never, I don't know if I saw that shot in that much detail. That was. So, yeah. Cool. So, what was the most challenging aspect of the project? The fight choreography. The, uh, <laughs> no. Really? No. So your not favorite even close. and the most challenging. That was probably the second. By far, the most challenging for me was any of the lines, the acting, the, yeah, that was, to I'm not an actor. Yeah. <laughs> remembering to breathe. Yeah, remembering to you breathe. You don't want to be like, what happened? <laughs> right. Well, uh, yeah, I think you get so focused on making sure the parts, your hand motions are correct and your body, body position is correct so you forget about your facial expressions a little bit. Or mm. I did. So that was hard to prioritize and remember. Right. And doing everything else. Cool. All right, so now that you've watched the film, what are your thoughts on the character that you played, and do you agree with the decisions that they made? I agree with the decision that Pierce made, for sure. Um, I like his spot in the film, I guess. I like how he's the part that decides to do the right thing is the person that does the right thing and even though I killed three people and a lot more I think off I screen. saved more <laughs> saved more good people than I killed for sure yeah nice what about you <laughs> I mean I think it's safe to say that like murdering small children you know I, I shouldn't have to clarify that I disagree with that but for the record <laughs> I disagree with it um yeah, I think the dichotomy of the film is the is the idea between the guy who's following orders and the guy who actually takes the time to think about whether or not it's right and not just doing what he's told. You exactly. know, Jax is the is the let's just do what we have to and probably enjoys some of the the more evil aspects of what he does in general. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. Pierce turns out to be the guy who still has some moral backbone left. Right. So it's a good Agreed. lesson in there. Yeah. It's like, even absolutely. though. Be more like Pierce. <laughs> be less but like just like ass. questioning, like never be so sure of what you're doing to not stop and question, right. like, why am I doing right. it? And what's actually the right thing? Is it to be obedient or to be good? Whatever that means. That being said, I think if it comes to acting, I enjoy playing the part of the villain way better. Mm. And the fewer lines of dialogue that the villain has, the better. Uh, <laughs> no monologues about... It's uh, funny how little dialogue it was. was that's still... Like, so it's little. So, it was so... <laughs> you did such a good job having the everything flow together in a way that required so little dialogue. Right, right. I would do something with more dialogue. Well, like your I body would. language and... I wouldn't mind it. As much as it sounds like you might, <laughs> but I would. Yeah, I'm extremely I, self-conscious about awkward. my voice. It's awkward. No, I definitely think Jack's like the facial expressions 
did a lot of the talking a lot of the time. Yeah. How about this? Do it and you just don't watch it. <laughs> watch the end, the, the finished result like this, but you don't see any. Maybe I'll just smoke for like 15 years and get a nice gravel. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Daniel's acting career will start at 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I'm back.